Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Ultima 4. You'll see that we've got quite a bit more gold, almost 800 than what we had last time. And that is because I did a little running around and just killing things to get the gold up because we need to buy reagents and we need to buy a lot more food. We're going to work our way down the coast here, uh, I think. And we're going to start off by visiting Empath Abbey. Oh, board. I always want to enter my ship. I have to board up. And um, find the artifact. So we found at the Lyceum, we found the Book of Truth, which is an actual thing. And we know that there is the bell and the candle. And um, uh, Empath Abbey is love. And I'm a little divided on whether that's going to be the Book of uh, the Bell of Love or the Candle of Love. If I had to guess, I'm going to say candle. All right, where am I? I'm at C and B. We are very close to the Abbey. We are very close indeed. Yeah, I think we're just a wee bit north of it. So let's go a wee bit south and see if we can find that. And then we're going to go down to, when we're done with the Abbey, we are going to go to, there, there, there she blows. We are going to go to uh, Scarbray and stock up. And uh, time permitting, we will go to uh, back to the island where the Shrine of Humility is. Now that we have the horn, although I do, I do kind of feel like um, we've we've kind of lost the need for it. I guess it depends on whether all those demons we fought are uh, respawning. Now, we were told we need to talk to somebody um, named Antos. Ah, don't type in his name. Type in name. And I don't think we... <laughs> oh, gosh. I was like, I don't think we've ever met Antos. I think we probably have. So I, I have an old note uh, that says, talk to Am Antos at all three of the castles. I don't think I ever found him at the Lyceum. And ask about the bell and the book and the candle. All right, job. Let's see what you have to say for yourself. What is it you do here? Wisdom. Oh, interesting. What's that? Now ask me. So let's ask about the bell. How about the candle? Ah, ha, ha, ha. So it's the candle of love, which means then it's going to be the bell of courage. Okay, cool. Okay, thou shalt see the candle to enter the abyss. That I knew. Dost thou know where to find it? Nope. Meditate on love at our shrine. Meditate on love. Okay, so there was that one room where there was an ankh, and I could never figure out what its purpose was. Right here. Oh, don't talk to the door, Keith. That's how you ended up. I am life. He says, you're just love. Seek ye the candle of love. I can't believe I've never done this. But maybe I, I mean, because this is the keep of love. I can't believe I never did this. But maybe I didn't. Seek ye the candle of love, for only with it and two other parts might thou enter the abyss. That I knew. Dost thou have it? No. Ask the bar beyond the secret passage. Okay. All right. So let's go ask the bar beyond the secret passage. I think this, I remember this guy. Mr. Guard, can I please leave, sir? Please, sir. Thank you. Um... It was up here, I think. Ugh, guards, 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 guards. Where was it? It was here. Yeah, because you had the gold, the gold, or you can come out here. I thought I asked this guy before. Maybe I wasn't sure to ask him, so. The candle of love is found in a secret place hidden off Lock Lake. Oh, maybe we did do this. Ugh. Maybe we did do this. And do I have that written here anywhere I do I've done all this before I've got it in my notes I just didn't have it in the right spot wasn't looking in the right spot and we couldn't find the secret place off of Lock Lake alright so that's 
All right. So this was kind of worthless. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. So we need to find that. I had to, I, apparently I wasn't doing very good on my note keeping that day because I didn't even have it recorded that we knew that um, the candle was what we needed um, for love. But at least now we know, we definitely know, and I've got it written down what the relationship between these three artifacts are. I'm just got to do some research on Lock Lake and find out what I can find out. But let's get back aboard our ship and let's not deal with that guy if we can avoid it. All right. And we're going to head, head out to Scar Bray. Now we've got to... There we go. Ugly face like that, that's what you deserve. Uh, we got to go around this little peninsula that kind of juts northward. Oh, bloody heck, Nixies. These guys are kind of like the orcs of the seas, I think, a, a bit. You know, they're not super powerful, uh, but they're just enough to be annoying. I mean, they do hit us, but... And they're pretty easy to kill. So yeah, I'm gonna dub thee the Orcs of the Seas. You should be suitably insulted. All right, I'll come over here and back up to Pre, I guess. You can do nothing, you can do nothing. Attack! Barely wounded. That guy, that guy ate his Wheaties. Uh, okay, you can attack that guy and you can miss. Come on, Katrina. That was lightly wounded, but moved out of the way. So I don't know if it's thinking of fleeing or what the deal is. Oh, good job, Shamino. All right, Julia. If you can get him, then that side of the ship is, is clear. I really don't want to move Katrina down now that I think about it. You can do nothing. Attack! Lightly wounded. Oh, good job, Julia. All right, so we just got the two that are over here. Move you over, move you up. Okay, okay. It's all up to these three here. They're the ones that got the position. That's the thing about fighting on a ship. You don't necessarily have a lot of elbow room. You got to put up with where your people are. That guy's fleeing. Yeah, we'll see about that. That guy's fleeing. How dare you, sir, hit our squishy companion, even though she's the only place that can attack you back. Oh, come on, Katrina. You need the XP, if nothing else. I should look and see how everybody's doing on XP. After after all my fighting. There we go. I can do that. Okay, so I'm still there. Uh, Shamino is at a thousand. And he's currently level five. So he needs to get to 1600 to advance. To get to level five... Um, Joffrey needs to get to 800, so he's not too far off. Same with Julia. Um, and then Dupree, to get to level 5, has got to get to 800. Iolo, he needs to get to 3200. He's got a long ways to go. And Katrina is almost to 100, which would uh, get her up to level 2 and double her hit points, which would not be bad, not be a bad thing. Okay, so let's sail down the coast, staying near the coast so we don't miss Scar Bray, while at the same time, not being close enough to anything off of there, it's going to come get us, with the exception of maybe something like uh, those demons that can fly. The other thing about the horn is I'm thinking the horn is meant to be used before uh, they actually meet us in combat. Because I was reading the description of the horn, and it was talking about 
it was talking about how um, I'm supposed to make him flee in front of me when I reach the Shrine of Humility. You can't get me. Nanner, nanner, nanner. And so I'm thinking, yeah, you know, I've been, I've been using the horn after we're in combat, but I think the key is to use the horn to make him flee before we get in combat. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. Now, I thought we left a ship here. Maybe it was a different island. Maybe I'm misremembering. That is entirely possible. But let's do what we came to do. Oh, I accidentally hit R. All right, so we've got herbs to buy. That's the healer. We don't have that. Although I might, I might before we get back on the ship while we're on, while we're on. Here's herbs. Here's the herb gal. If you would get out of my way, Mister. All right, I am in need of reagents. Okay. So let's look at what, so we need to make cure spells, healing spells, and fireball spells. I was thinking maybe I should make some ice ball spells, but I can't do that because you need mandrake root and I haven't found mandrake, mandrake, mandrake root yet. All right, so for cure spells and for heal spells, I need garlic, ginseng, and spider silk. So right now I've already got 16 garlic. Uh, so let's add to that. So nine gold pieces. I'm going to use a lot of... Look at my food. Holy hell. Say 20. I'm just going to pay what's asked. We aren't. We don't have that much that much uh, gold going on. Okay, yes, I need something else. I need ginseng. Four gold pieces. So 20 would be 80. 30 would be 120. Let's get 30. Okay, 120. Hopefully I'm getting a little bit of plus just because I'm paying, paying what's asked instead of underpaying all right so next fireball we need sulfur ash and black pearl so right now we have 24 sulfur ash but we also need that no we don't need that for heal um we need it for some other things i think but not for that so we've got 24 sulfur ash that's really cheap that's really cheap let's just get 10 let's get into the 30s uh, I'll pay 20. Okay. Spider silk. We've already got 37 spider silk. That's not bad. Blood moss. What do we use blood moss for? We use it for blink. We use it for open, which we've never had to use. We use it for tremor, which is not something we've used, but that also requires mandrake root. Uh, wind change requires both sulfur ash and blood moss, but we've got 19 blood moss. I think we're fine. And then up and down, um, and exit, um, commands all use blood moss, but we've got 19 of that. I think I'm good with blood moss. I think I'll go with blood moss. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sweat that. Um, what else is this? Okay. So, and then black pearl. Okay. For eight, I've got nine. So if I wanted 20, that would be 160. And that would get me 29. How about 21? Let's get to 30. 168, I will pay 168. No. Okay. So that's not bad. I'm, I'm pretty happy with those levels. Um, we'll need to mix some stuff here in a minute. We'll probably do that before we leave. All right, so what's next? Next, we need food. We need food. We need food. I'm not leaving the shores from here with 78 gold because last time we did that, we ended up starving. All right, so let's get out of here. I, there is a place to buy food here. And I did, I did take a little bit of time and do uh, a little bit of the math. I need to, in some of the places I've been, like Britain and Moonglow and Yalom, I need to... to 
to record the quantity because I hadn't recorded the quantity. But comparing you to Scar Bray, um, Scar Bray is the cheapest. You isn't bad. Um, Yalom and Britain uh, were um, both 40, but I don't remember what the quantity was. It's probably 25 or 30. Probably still going to be cheaper. Uh, and then Moon Glow was 25, but I don't remember the quantity. So I, I, I need to get that so I can calculate the price price per each, and that'll tell me where the cheapest places are to buy food. But I think for what I know today, this is the cheapest place to buy food. All right, so we're going to talk south. Darn rootin' tootin' you'd like. All right, so 25 for only 20 gold pieces. So I've got 300 gold pieces. So that would be four packs per hundred. So if I did 12 packs, that would eat up all but one one gold piece. But we would have a buttload of food. I think I like that. 376 gold. Oh, we got 60. Oh, I did the math wrong. <laughs> what a fracking shock. I did the math wrong. How many packs? I will buy two more. All right, I'm confused. Did I type this type this out wrong? I want rations. Twenty five. I got them backwards. I got the numbers backwards on my notes. That's the problem. I was looking at my notes, so it's twenty five for twenty. You get twenty five rations for twenty gold. Okay, I got to double check my math on the on the price. I got to make sure that's on the price for each, but I think, but I, I still think this is probably one of the cheapest. So now we have 426 food. I am liking that. All right. Uh, let's get out of here. Yeah, we're, we, we probably have time to at least go down and attempt to, um, attempt to go and, uh, do a little meditating. All right, let's get on our get on our boat. Do I have the coordinates for Scarbray mapped? I do not. Let me take care of that real fast. So we're at I and B. I mean, I de technically I don't need to record it because I've got the map and I can kind of futz it out. But I don't know. I kind of like to do that. All right, let's uh, let's get on our ship. So. Um, the Shrine of Humility, the entrance to that is at M and O, and we are at I and B. So we need to come down, we need to come south still, until we hit M. J. L. We're pretty close. L. All right, we're at M. And then we need to head to the west until we hit O, which shouldn't probably take us too long, so long as the winds aren't bad. So there we are at P, and here's the island. Oh. Nice. I, 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 I'm also thinking that, that uh, maybe after this, if we're doing okay on things that might be time to go try and take on Pirate's Cove while we're here. See if we can empty that place out. I have a strategy in mind, but we'll save that. I don't think that'll be this episode. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. I meant to... All right, let's take a minute here. I'm going to mix some reagents. So this is pretty repetitive, so I'm not going to make you stay. I will start on this, and then I will fade out and bring you back in. Okay, and so now we're going to make our last mix, our fireball. We will take our sulfur's ash and our black pearl, mix it, and there we go. We are done. So let's take a look at what we've got left here. So you can see we've, we're down to 16 sulfur's ash, 10 ginseng, 26 garlic, 27 spider silk, 19 blood moss, and 12 black pearls. So 
We used a lot of them, but we still have a lot there if we need them. And what we did is we got 15 cures now, uh, 20 fireballs, and 15 heals. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I am going to save here <laughs> just in case. And let's try to hold up in camp and get our get our um, health up for everybody to 100%. It would be very nice. I think Julia's, yeah, she was the only one that, that needed a top off. Okay, so here we are. Interesting. The chests are still there. I don't know if we'll even have to worry about demons. I do remember that there was... I, when I first got here, and I didn't go back to watch the video other than when I was editing it, but you had just a brief glimpse as I stepped down here in the rocky area of demons coming in and converging. And at this point is when I'm supposed to use the horn and make them go away. Now, I don't know if almost an hour worth of killing demons, if we did it. They're not really endless. If I look online at the description of the, of the silver horn, they call them endless. It felt endless. But it wasn't quite endless. So, because I did find an end, right? Uh, so, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll play it safe. Oop. Expecting to, uh, and we'll do the horn. And let's see what happens. I'm going to see if I can get the chest. Poison trap evaded. Oh my gosh. I mean, like I told you, every step was, I don't know how many. I wasn't counting. Um, uh, and it looks like we got a chest for every one of those. Holy heck. I mean, look at, we're at 300 gold already. Excellent. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, the horn. Oh. I, I probably before I take another step, I need to I need to check. I need to check and make sure. So I'm guessing we're gonna have we're gonna have um, waves again, which is always always a danger, always a danger. Um, I'm gonna task Julia and Iolo with taking out this uh, Balron. I think he's called. If they can from a distance, I may I may end up assisting. He's heavily wounded. Still heavily wounded. Nothing's lined up with me right now, so. The one thing I have learned about this game is I am not, I can't mix stuff while in combat like this. So I have to, that's why I've got to make sure that I've got enough stuff. Um, it's, and it's going to be, it's also important when we are in, in dungeons because I've learned that we spend a lot of time in this combat mode. And even when we've killed everything off the field, uh, I still can't mix stuff because once again, I'm in combat mode. Oh, beautiful. And he didn't even get a chance to put any of it to sleep, although he did poison two of us. Which is part of the reason I hate those things. But I think I talked about that last time. All right, so we just got one of these guys left for this round. We'll see how many of these we have. I'm a little surprised that one came back considering there was a chest there but it's probably because I forgot to do the horn. So maybe the fact that I've blown the horn will keep any other ways from coming. But I obviously need to not move forward unless I've got the red dot there. And in fact, the red dot is gone. Shoot. So what I want to do here, we're going to go up and take these guys on. And when we are like down to the last guy and it's getting kind of obvious that um, we're almost done, I am going to 
blow the horn. If I can. I'll do what I can. The timing on that one sucked. I should have moved them up. Heavily wounded. Barely wounded. Miss. Oh, is that guy fleeing? Lightly wounded. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing there. There's nobody in front of him. Heavily wounded. You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to pass so I can use. So we did that. And now, hopefully we can take care of this guy in short order. Oh, the horn didn't help. The horn didn't help. How's everybody's health? We're doing okay. I mean, we got Joffrey and Dupree that are poisoned. So that's problematic. We will definitely have to take care of that. I think uh, Katrina and I will focus in on the Balron. Try to get him killed as fast as possible. I'm okay with the electrified damage. Let's just, you know, keep your poison breath to yourself. Heavily wounded. Uh, here we go with the sleepy. He's heavily wounded. I think I'm going to bring Iolo to help out. Oh, okay. That works out nicely. So I was going to bring Iolo to help out with the, with the Balron. And then the Balron moved over in front of him. So that works. Heavily wounded. Now he's fleeing. Want to bet? Still fleeing. Julia or Katrina is awake. Oh, no, I'm sleeping. Oh, beautiful. Come on, Shamino. The horn call is still active. At this point, I think it's too late. I think it's too late. Who's sleeping? I'm sleeping. I do have to say, and I'm probably going to jinx myself saying this, is I am getting smaller batches of demons. So maybe it's helping in that regard. Because I feel like I was getting large amounts of, you know, five or six. Okay. So, oh, crap. I was going to have Shamino wake me up but that didn't happen all right please don't please don't poison any more my people i know that you're not really concerned about doing stuff to help my team out heavily wounded uh here we go to sleeping again Lightly wounded. Come on, Iolo. He's already heavily wounded. Now he's critical. And now he's looking for cover. Okay, Katrina's awake. Oh, beautiful. One down. And I can't do the horn. Um, doesn't have to be my magic lips. I have to pre-do it. He's, he's fiery hit. Still critical. 
Oh, Katrina, need you to hit him. That goes double for you, Joffrey. You're right in his face. Oh, beautiful. He's gone. He's gone. All right. Oh, he's fleeing. Oh, he's fleeing right toward us. That's nice of him. See, I jinxed myself. Did I call her? Did I call her? Who's sleeping now? Shamino's sleeping, but I am awake. So that is good news. Heavily wounded. Heavily wounded. So we're getting somewhere. We're we're chipping away at him. That demon's critical. Is that guy fleeing? I don't remember them being that close. He must have been. Now that demon's fleeing. Okay, all right, good deal, good deal. We're doing okay on health. I like that our squishy companion has not taken a hit, but I got her behind Iolo, who's second only to me in hit points, I believe. So that works out pretty good. We can keep her alive, and yet she can also get experience. I guess we'll put the pre up there. And then there was one. All right. Oh, okay. Who's sleeping? Shaman, oh man. Did he sleep through that whole battle? <laughs> it's like he's taking lessons from Iolo. <laughs> All right, I'm going to keep... All right, there we go. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to keep uh, Iolo where he's at. Oh, I meant to have him attack. Dang it. All right, I'm going to get in front. You can come out this way. You can come up. You can come up. Come over. Attack. And we miss. Oh, he's fleeing already. Come on, Katrina. Beautiful. Alrighty then. So I guess we'll go up and you up and you up and you up and you can attack. And I'm actually gonna put I think I think Shamino's body is is protecting Katrina right now. So Well, now my body is protecting her also, so that's okay. Get you up there, get you up there, get you up there. Hey, Shamino woke up. Welcome to the party, pal. I think he missed like two waves or one wave. I don't know why I moved Iolo there. That's not Iolo. I gotta move Julia over. I'm gonna move up. He can move up. I might have Dupree go over and help him. All right, I'll back off one so you can get up there. Create a half funnel death. Julia taking a practice swing. All right. Heavily wounded. Now he's fleeing. 
or not. Uh, I guess I can bring him over. He's fleeing or not. Oh, are you, f are you trying to get away, sir? Just in case. Okay. I like these odds. Heavily wounded already. Good news, good news. Now he's fleeing. All right, we made it. All right, so let's grab all this gold. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's only three there. All right, so. Uh, I guess one cure Joffrey. Cast one cure. Duplay. All right. Let's blow the horn and then let's go south. Okay, interesting. Holy heck, look at our gold. We're almost at a thousand gold. I mean, we earned it by killing a boatload of demons. But you can see how repetitive it gets. That's why I ended up cutting a lot of that because I thought this is just, I mean, it just gets boring. Okay. What? What? <laughs> What, 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 what? Are you fracking kidding me? <laughs> we don't have the rune. We don't have the rune. I, I, I even looked at my thing. We don't have the rune for Valor either. I totally forgot about the runes because every place we've been going, we've had the rune. All right. Well, <laughs> crap. Well, we got a lot of gold, which is good if we need to buy more food and stuff, but. Uh, all right, so the horn is active. Take a step. Still active. Take a step. Still active. Take a step. Still active. Take a step. <laughs> so uh, take a step. All right, I think we're safe once we get past that. All right, well, that... I mean, we got all that gold, so there wasn't a total loss. Yeah, it wasn't a total loss. All right, so where... We got to go to Baron and Pause. Pauses. Oh, pauses over there. That's just across the sea there. It's not too bad. We may do that next time. Go over there and get that. And then maybe come back and try to um, get the stupid thing taken care of. And then we can stop <laughs> coming to this godforsaken place. But I'll let that be that. Uh, I thank you for joining me on this quest today anticlimactic as it was for us today but i do hope you come back for the next one where hopefully we will add another link into our little onk there in the middle of our display and uh, get that much closer to full avatar hood but i'll let that be that and until next time be seeing you <laughs>